OK, that was a lovely little ditty from Queens of the Stone Age. Bit of trivia for you. I once mistook their singer, Josh, for uh, a friend of my sister's, and I accused him of stealing my Labyrinth video. What? <laughs> Labyrinth, the Italian power metal band? No, Labyrinth, the magical puppet romp. Co-starring David Boy's cock. <laughs> what? Come on, Jane. Don't pretend you didn't notice, of all people. <laughs> it's those lycra tights. They just leave nothing to the imagination. It's like the, it, it looms over the entire film like a veiny albatross. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if anyone out there does have my Labyrinth video, just text in and I'll pay for the postage. Second class, no DHL or anything too pricey. No major hurry, I don't even own a video recorder anymore. So, uh, yes, we are going home now! Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think we should tell our lovely listeners the good news. Our boy here has been nominated for an award tomorrow night, presented by the lovely Connie Huck. <laughs> Best tall man talking Irish lesbian DJ award. That is the official awards title. Thank you, Tom. No, I am up for an award. But I probably won't win. Oh, look at you being all coy. And slightly awkward. What do you mean awkward? Well, everything you do is awkward. You're like a puppy with the legs of a spider. That's ridiculous. How are the legs of a spider support a puppy? Well, they'd have to be in proportion, obviously. Or oh, obviously. I've got an email here from a Chris Herbert who says he has your labyrinth video. <laughs> Herbert! Of course, you cheeky thieving bastard. <laughs> but he says you can't have it back because you got it signed by Warwick Davis after bumping into him at a petrol station. Stop it, Mad Mardigan! She's out of your baby! <laughs> I once saw Nick Faldo at a, at a petrol station. He was buying a pasty. The nominations for Best Music Broadcaster are Annie Mack, John Kennedy, Topher Kiefer, and Lindsay Carroll. So where were you last night? I was in the toilet. When Connie started reading out the nominations, I suddenly got this unbearable urge to piss. Couldn't stop myself. It was like, I don't know. Is there such a thing as premature urination? I think the term's incontinent. Maybe you've got cystitis. Surely you can't get cystitis if you don't have a vagina. Cranberry juice. Sorry? He has cystitis. Oh, don't have cystitis, by the way. Or a vagina. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, what's going on with you, Daisy? My uncle died. Oh, you OK? It's really hot. <laughs> let, let it all out. Yeah. Um, is there any post? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh. Good one! <laughs> so your uncle's not dead? No, he did die, but uh, I lived in Canada. I didn't know him. Brilliant! <laughs> Here's your post. I saw the awards last night. Mr Grump's a sad sack he didn't win. No, Mr Grump's is just fine. I'm fine, not Mr Grump. I didn't go to win. All right. Good. Still, I really thought you'd win, so... I'm sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, is it? Unless you rigged it. Did you rig it, Daisy? No. No. What is popping, peeps? Everything is popping. Hi, Topher. How are you today? I'm AG, baby. I'm all good. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yes, well done, you, Mr. Award winner. Ah, no, nah, really, come on, it's, it's no biggie. Don't be so modest. I always knew you'd win. Tell him about your dead uncle. What? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Look, I lost someone myself recently. And someone said something to me. It was the only thing that made sense. And, uh, basically... That is so lovely, Tofa. Thank you so much. She didn't even like him. Hey, no, I'm just... Here's your post, Tofa. Oh. The lover, lover. I saw all the uh, pictures you and Connie, you cheeky boy. Oh, no, we <clears throat> we just were leaving the club at the same time. It was totally innocent, honest. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, that's a good stuff. 
Chofer has got his filthy hands on lovely little Connie Hook. I am going to stab myself in the eyes with a blunt fork. Oh, good morning to you too. Well, thank you. You're looking very well also. Mmm. Should I add that to your collection? It's not a collection. Do you prefer the term shrine? I just happen to think she's a very talented presenter, OK? She was the longest-serving presenter of Blue Peter ever. Longer than John Noakes. John Noakes. And that's what does it for you, is it? That's what does it for me. Oh, she's so pretty. She's like a unicorn. And it looks like Topher's riding her. What? There's no riding. I was the one that put in all the groundwork last night, not him. If anyone's going to be riding her, it's going to be me. Groundwork. You bought her a drink from the free bar and then told her she had a mouth like Bob Dylan. It was a spark. Seeing her again, then? I might be. When? Soon. Thanks. OK, put it this way. Not having lunch on my own today. So put that in your pipe. Where's Don Cox? I don't know, but if he's late again, I'm going to staple his scrotum to his desk. So how is your ego after losing last night? I didn't go to win. It was a waste of time. Really? I didn't think so. You got some cock, then. Yeah. You did? Oh, what are you... Every time. What are you doing, collecting sex smiles? Young, free, single, just doing what you should be doing, but with less of the crying and wanking. <laughs> You're hardly young. So who was he? He won the award for best new ethnic minority digital radio show. Ethnic minority? Where's he from? He's Latvian. Are Latvians even classed as an ethnic minority? He only gets 200 listeners. Surely that's not how you define an ethnic minority. Maybe he's just not very good. So you're going to see him again? No. Why not? Because he only gets 200 listeners. So why'd you shag him then? Because he won. Weird. Dom! Ah! Oh. Sorry, sorry. Bit of a big one last night. I didn't want to be late for this morning, so I thought I'd crash here. Hey, how is everyone? Great party, eh? I ended up in a karaoke box of Ian Brown. He knows all the words to dancing on the ceiling. Are you still drunk? No. Maybe. <laughs> Get dressed. The subways are here at three. Well, the subways there last night. He spent the whole night with them. <gasps> Nice pants. Oh, they're not mine. Right, wet wipes, top drawer. Coffee, fag, then I'm ready to go. Right, where are we going? Mother of God! <gasps> Fuck! In a hat? Why would you do it in a hat? Don't know. It's the closest thing around at the time. Mm -hmm. What you doing? Dom did something terrible in a hat and left it to incubate in a drawer. Why would you do it in a hat? I don't fucking know! I was very, very, very drunk. Sometimes I do strange things. Lindsay, I've got it. Oh, God, sorry. Neil, I'm smoking a cigarette. You're allowed to look. What have you got, Neil? Um, prostatitis. Or rather, you have it. It can cause urinary frequency, penile discharge and dribbling. Is there something we should know? No, everything's OK. Everything's... There's no dribble. Neil, my man. You take it to the dry cleaners. Thanks. What's the plan for lunch? Apparently, Lindsay's already got a lunch date. Yeah, well, like a date date. A date date. He finally asked her. Bollocks. That's what I said. I don't believe that. Why? You actually asked her. I, um... Uh... You're actually going on a date with Connie Hooks. I'm actually going on a date with Connie Hooks, Pierre. Jemima. She's lovely. That is so typical of you. You always go for bronze. Jemima is not bronze. She's gold. She's solid gold. She's platinum. I would go so far as to say that Jemima could be the one. No, it's Gemma. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I had it in my hand that your name was Jemima. <laughs> I don't even know any Jemimas. Screw this. Let's just go for a liquid lunch. I've got work, so... Um... Yeah. Must be fun, working with Connie, though. Mmm. You know. Must be a riot, going to all those parties and beating off the paps. It's mostly administration. Is it? Going anywhere nice on holiday? Where are the toilets? It's over there. She's a keeper. Oh, you were right, by the way. She's the one. Can I be the best man? She just seemed so vibrant and exciting last night. Did she? You're right. She's not cold. 
She's not even bronze. She's brass. Oh, what is wrong with me? You? You're gangly. You look surprised all the time. You have the name of a lady. Yeah, OK. Yeah. No, I meant in terms of why can't I go for what I really want. But thanks for that. What am I going to do? Fuck Jemima off for a start. Gemma. And ask out Connie. I can't, but I don't even have her number. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got it! Got what? Your phone. I have the same phone as you. No, you haven't. Not this one, obviously. No, uh, I, I have two phones. One for business, one for uh, pleasure. This is my pleasure phone, which I keep at home. Why are you on Connie's number? Um, oh. Look, Jemima. Gemma. 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 I have a friend who likes uh, Connie. I know I should have told you before, but I didn't want you to think that I was only going out with you so I could get Connie's number. Because I think that you are really good. Who is this friend? Oh, he's, uh, uh, DJ? Lindsay, I'm not stupid. No. Your friend, the DJ, it's Topher Kiefer, isn't it? It is. It is. Wow. I can't give out Connie's number. But I tell you what, why don't you give me his number and I'll try and set up a date for him. That sounds awesome. You're the only person in the whole world who could set up the woman of his wet dreams on a date with his nemesis. <laughs> yeah. You are a ridiculous human being. You should just kill yourself now and avoid any risk of procreation. I think the risk is pretty low. <laughs> hey! All right, guys. How's it going? Thanks for coming in. Dom, subways are here. Oh, are they? <laughs> what? I was just, um... Just, uh... How you going? Dom, how you feeling today? Oh, all right. <laughs> Hey, how you doing, Billy? Oh, he's sulking. He lost his lucky hat. Lucky hat? When 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 did you lose it, Billy? Last night. Never mind. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to get these coffees. Oh, Dom, hat, good as new, huh? <sighs> Surprise! <laughs> I think he must have called me one of the bells. The fun, now is the time. I'm calling out to you from the basement. I got a need to feel so shake, shake. You got a problem with me? Say it. I couldn't care if we lose, no. Hello? Uh, you talk to him, tell him I've left the country. That you've left it? You, you just answered the phone. Hello? No, I'm sorry, this isn't Jen's phone anymore. No, she was, um... Yeah, she was fired for being shit. Ah. Uh, no, this is Lindsay Carroll. What? Yeah, yeah, well, I didn't go to win. Yeah, OK, thanks. That was great. That's great. Answer your own fucking phone. Thanks. Don't worry about it, man. You'll be fine. He said he was going to cut my hands off as a punishment for stealing. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Soft. Yeah, having another conference call with the dying whale, I see. <laughs> Seriously, what do you think? New kid. Embryo. He records it all underwater. He doesn't these days. Mm. Yeah. It's K2, man. Oi, Linz. Glad I caught you. I've got another hot date tonight. And I believe I've got you to thank for it. Why don't you bring a gal? Yeah, we'll double up, mate. Oh, you still uh, suffering from the old, uh... How did you... You... F if you try cranberry juice... That's what I suggested. Oh, you could get a bag. <laughs> Can we stop talking about my wee sack? 
for five minutes. Neil, you tell one more person about my bladder, I'm going to start telling people about your pornographic jigsaws. I was trying to help. <laughs> Why would the sight of Topher make you want to piss? Because he reminds me of a toilet. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at. Hot teeth. Oh, God. What am I going to do? It's fine. We've got a couple of hours. Just bring them down the pub, buy them a drink, bond with them. No, I'm not meeting them on my own. What if he attacks me again? He's quite strong for a skinny bloke. It's OK. Neil will look after you, won't you, Neil? What? <sighs> Where the fuck is Dom? OK, so we've finally been joined by our guests for today, the Subways, and our missing co-host, Mrs Dominic Cox, and for some reason, Neil. Yeah, sorry we were late, we were bonding. Yeah, being late's not rock and roll, it's just rude. Yeah, Supergrass were never late, were they, Jane? Never. They managed to combine hedonism with punctuality, and that is what makes them a truly great band. It wasn't a complete waste of our time. We've actually managed to solve the riddle of your piddle. Tell him, Neil. Oh, yeah, could we, Neil? That'd be great. Could we share that with the listening public? Oh, by the way, can I mention at this point that Neil has a collection of pornographic jigsaws and in some countries is labelled as a sex pest. Um, we, we have deduced that, that Lindsay has a pathological fear of failure so that when he anticipates he's going to fail at something... Like last night's awards. ..or asking out a certain Miss Huck... It makes him want to piss. And we have managed to pinpoint the exact traumatic childhood event that caused this. I don't have a psychological problem. I just have an old lady's bladder. It's as simple as that. Lindsay, we have a caller for you on line one. Lindsay? Mum? Hi, Ruth. Hello, Dominic. <laughs> How are you, Mum? I'm fine. Tell him about Jean's ankle. Oh, Jean's ankle's playing up again. OK, this is great. Always a pleasure to hear your voice, Mum, as you know, especially when I'm live on air. Could you tell us why you're calling? Tell him what you told me earlier um, about Terry the Tiger. All right, mm. yes. What? When Lindsay was six, we were on holiday in Tenerife and they had this talent show for the kids run by Terry the Tiger. Now, I know Lindsay had always liked dressing up and showing off, so we entered him into it. Oh, God. We dressed him up as Mark Armand and got him up on stage in front of all the parents to sing Tainted Love. But poor little Lindsay forgot all the words and the audience turned on him and then... I pissed myself. Oh, I had the same experience at Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to the root of the problem. We need to fix it, yeah, guys? What do you mean, fix it? Well, you got to finish the song. And not piss yourself. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Sometimes I feel I've got to bum bum run away. I've got to bum bum get away. Oh. Yeah, no, that was embarrassing at all. Oh, God. What? It's the Latvian. Oh, OK, better let him down gently. I'll see you guys in the pub. Right. Well, fuck me in the face. It's Connie. Oh, she must be here for a date. She's so beautiful. She's like... She's like a mermaid. Mm. But with legs. Yeah. Mm. You haven't pissed yourself for a while. You must be cured. She's so incredible. It's like... Uh, it actually hurts to look at her. It's like staring directly at the sun. All right, boys. <sighs> Liam's having a house party. We're heading over if you fancy it. Dom? Yeah. Oh. oh, it's so cute that you guys have made up. It's, oh. That's no harm done. Got my lucky hat back. I know that he after what he did of it. What do you mean? <sighs> what are you doing with my hat? Yeah, he's a prick. Go on, go to the party. This is very flattering, but last night was last night. You know, it's award season, you won. I like winners, but I think it's probably best if we just leave it there. Sorry, I'm a little confused. I'm just saying thanks, but you really shouldn't have come here to see me. I'm here for a meeting. After the awards, they called me to offer me a job here. And then I call you to let you know, so it wouldn't be so awkward. Oh, right. So you, you don't want me? No, no, God, no. We all have silly eyes when drunk. But like you say, award season, huh? Okay, it is time to go. Signing out for the night, Jersey. Thank you. Lindsay, you don't have to. Shh. Um, Connie, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Lindsay Carroll. 
I was nominated for the award that you presented last night. Are you the one that said I had a mouth like Bob Dylan? <laughs> Are you here for your date? No. I'm meeting my PA. She's got my phone. Jemima. Gemma. 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 Yeah, do you know her? In passing. Why are you meeting her here? She's got a date with Topher Kiefer. Say again? Yeah, she's had this thing about him for ages. Cheeky bitch. Excuse me? <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Lindsay, I believe you know Gemma. Hey, Connie. Hey, how are you? Lindsay, I'm sorry. I was going to tell you. I just didn't want you to think that I was only going out with you to get Topher's number. Where were you? Yeah. Jemima. Uh, we should probably go. Hayes? So, you got any plans for tonight, Mr. Grumps? Touch me with your tainted love! So. <laughs> wow, so. This is great, huh? Yeah. So, a little birdie tells me you have a degree in economics. Going anywhere nice on holiday? You've got an arrow yeah. pointing to a horrific nub. If the nub should go, yeah. you're now stuck with an arrow <laughs> pointing to nothing. The Justin Lee Collins Show, tomorrow at 10 on ITV2.